might have been like maybe five or six, six of us that came up with the concept and then, you know, it just evolved from that point on. Did the show the A team have that influence on y'all wanting that name though? Yeah, kind of. Of course, it, it had a lot to do with it from, you know, how they just was moving, you know, the van. And, I was know. about to ask you that. Is it true <laughs> that the A team had a crazy van? To the top, we products of hip hop for flipping cane in the spot to letting off gunshots. You need to stop with that watered down hip hop. Hey, yo, LAZ, make sure you check that single and video from Chief Cherokee and Royal Flush. It's called Video Music Box. Check the description and the comment section for the Spotify link to the song. Hey, yo, LAZ, if you pushing a good vehicle, make sure you pull up on my bros in Brooklyn. In East New York, 225 Montauk, you heard? Brooklyn Splash. This is a father and son black owned business car wash that's popping in BK. Make sure you pull up, tell them LAZ, Z Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you, you heard? Father Devon, stop. Ain't no guards. And I'm gonna say what I wanna say. Father Devon, Back in back in 1996, one of the um one of the gods, the young gods, we had this thing called Young Gods. You know, it was like a uh, like a disciplined organization. You know, like to teach the young, like to teach us. You know, to teach us values and morals. You heard that? One of the god, one of the young gods, got their bike stolen. I think one of the one of the one of the young guards got their bike stolen in Star City. So I think somebody ran into Father Divine and they seen him. They had told him what happened. Father Divine went over there. This is the illest shit I ever seen. It was me, Father Divine, and the kid that got their bike towed. When this thing Father Divine, Father Divine was, was like, yo, what, what's your name and all this and all this to the people who stole the bike, who seen the bike. Father Divine had to his mother. The guy, Father Divine asked the boy, what's your mother? Who's your mother? Who's your, who's your, who's your, who's your people? So the guy told him, once the guy said the, the, the mother name, it was over from there. Father Divine baked him. Father Devon made this kid feel so low. He was just like robbing and stealing. He got the bike back. Apology, it was red carpet rolled out. The kid got his bike back. Yep. The kid gave back his bike. Gave back the young, one of the young guards' bike. You said that was in Star Ray City? Yeah, Star Ray City. Star Ray City took one of the um one of the young guards' bike because they was in Star Ray City riding, bike riding. Did Brookline you know, used to beef with Star Ray City back in the days? I mean, I wouldn't call it beef, but I mean, the younger generation was used to beef with Star Ray City, not the older. It was guard. It was heavy guards in Star Ray City too. Oh yeah, a lot of yeah. You know Prince Love, Prince Lewis. That's the guard. Rest in peace, Prince Love. He had knowledge himself. Powerful. Mhm. Mm it was guards in Star Ray City, but the most was you know the most. Respecting God from like Star Ray City area is powerful. Hands down. Rest in peace, the big powerful man. He from Star Ray? I think he from 
I'm not too sure, but I remember him being in my mother's house back in the days. You know, it's a lot of powerfuls. So nah, you know. this big powerful. He he died about a good 11, 13 years ago, 10, 11 years ago. He was a really good dude, good brother. Good brother. He died of natural causes. He didn't get killed or anything. You heard? Yeah. So let's let's clear that. The, the powerful he died of natural causes. Yeah, but he he was he was official. Yeah, he I think he was here. Yeah, he's the Star Right City. Or he, I don't know where he was from, but I do remember that powerful being in my mom's crib back in the day, back in the eighties. One about Father Divine, like he he what, oh. what how he used to be in that projects though, like what he used to be doing in the peas. Man, Father Father Divine, Father the Father Divine, Father Divine was he did a lot for the community. He gave food, he gave turkeys, he he took care of the babies, he. He took money out of his own pocket. I watch him. I watch him take money out of his own pocket. He, 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 he took certain kids shopping, bought kids book bags, sneakers. He did right. He bought leather coats, gave kids coats for school. Certain time, certain kids who ain't have shit, he'd just pick random kids and take them shopping, give them knowledge. Look, he was he was like a. That's why his name is Father Divine. He lived up into that name. You heard? Father Divine really was that. He was that guy, man. Father Divine was really that guy. Was he mad swift with degrees and stuff? What? Man, listen. Father Divine is the only God. And I can say this. That God is the only God that could quote his whole one to 40 in in 20 minutes and break it down in 20 minutes father the father star ain't no gods and i'm gonna say what i want to say and this is all i suspect ain't no god could build like father divine no gods he, he was sharp he was sharp with his lessons. And if you didn't, Father Devon would like to, he would always like to challenge people and teach. He was a great teacher. A great teacher, he was a great man. I got a, I got a story though with Father Devon. This is back in the days. I think he had did something. I think my mom said he had did something. And I think I think they was going they was going to kill him. I think they um they was going they they was going to hang him off the roof, or they did. I'm not too sure. But I, I gotta I gotta get the full story. But I know that happened. I forgot what he did. Forgot what he did. But I know it wasn't going to be no father divine. I think somebody did something to him or he got blamed for something. I don't know. Was he also huh? a wild dude though? A oh, father divine was wild. That was Fahim, God. Word is Lord. Yeah, Father Divine was a gangster. Father Divine get busy and uh don't get don't get it twisted. Father Divine until this until this day. Father Divine was a good person, but he also he also did he also did you know he did he did bad things, you know he was a gangster. But he you know his good outweigh his bad. You heard last he he never was no lame. No. Bef before he got um sick. I don't know, but I know, you know, he died um, 2019. See, Father Devon was with the shits. You could catch, listen, 
Father Devon, as his, as his, um, as the older years, or whatever, like up until he died, you know, he had so much books and his heart was pure as gold. And my mother loved the shit out of him. He loved my mother. He grew up in my mother's house. Father Devon had many a students. You heard last? Yeah. Father Devon, great. Nothing but good things to say about Father. If anybody ever try to say anything about Father Devon, they lying. They lying. The one thing that, the only thing the bad a person could say, that he got caught up fucking with, started getting high. But hey, that's such his life, right, lads? Father Devon was getting money, though. He was quiet with it. Father Devon was getting a lot of money. Father Devon was getting money in Albany. Back in 96. But his main man was Shalom. Rest in peace to Shalom. I miss Shalom. That's the great God. Shalom got killed in a in a car accident. I think driving up in a van from like a family vacation or trip. Shalom is another legend. He from Brooklyn. Get busy. Yeah, Shalom from Brooklyn. Yeah. Him and Father Devon was like like uh, night and day. You wouldn't see one without the other. Shalom was from. The next court from mine. The, the law lives across the street from PS PS two sixty. I'm not calling that shit three twenty five. You heard last? That shit would always be public school PS two sixty. Yeah. That's where everybody from Brookline mostly went. Nah, everybody from Brookline went to different schools. Growing up, you had motherfuckers going to, um, you had niggas going to Gersh, right? You had niggas going to Gersh, you had niggas going to Build a Seat, you had niggas going to 211. But our zone, Brookline zone was either Canarsie, high school and junior high, Canarsie, Canarsie, um, 211. Build to see a curse. Yeah. Boy, those was the times. Oh, man. <laughs> I, got a, I, I got a quick story with me involved in it if you want to hear one. Well, Canarsie High School? Yeah, I went to Canarsie. You know, I, I used to get in there with, with my hammer, you know. Certain, certain motherfucking, um, certain security guards fuck with me. They love me. I used to get in there with, 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 with a 40. Niggas to come open the back door. Yeah. This, this is, um, rest in peace to the security guard, Richie. He was Panamanian like me. Richie. Richie. I don't know. Yeah. But Richie and Stacy was good, good security, good school safety. I'm bugging, sorry. Yeah. If Richie, if Richie liked you, you you was getting in with your hammer. You know, I was niggas was bringing fists in there, nines, forties, like. We, I had it on me. I was bringing it to school every day. Honestly, when the beef was on, I ain't even gonna lie. We was beefing with everybody, though, at a point in time. Shit got crazy. Who y'all was beefing <laughs> with? Like private houses and shit? Well, yeah, but I never was beefing with the private house niggas. No. It was like, I never got caught up with the Brookline private house shit. Not that, you know, I mind my business. They didn't fuck with me. 
but somehow they like they like me. You know, I'm a likable person until you cross me and you piss me off, and then it's lights out for you. Yeah, but nah, but the you know, but the Brooklyn and the private house that was real beef. Niggas was getting killed. Yeah, niggas was getting killed. Yeah, um, yeah, Mon- money task Reeks wasn't lying. When, when, when he did that uh, interview with you, you heard that? Buzz is cool, cool nigga. He ain't he ain't no slouch, but yeah, but on the on the Brookline shit, nah, they, yeah, they, yeah, it was beef. Niggas cribs was getting shot up. Yeah, and it's a true story. You heard last? Yeah, niggas mama's cribs is getting hit up. Certain people might not like it, but yeah, yeah, it's, it, it's true. It happened. And you were saying you used to begin to him in Canarsie? Of course, every day. 97, 98. They would, I, I used to come to school every day with a 40 caliber. 17 shot Glock 40 caliber. Smith & Wesson. Every day. The security guard, Richie, used to let me in through the side door. Or sometimes, look, I used to give him my book bag. Yo, oh, man. And, and you know what's crazy? I was even getting money in Canarsie. Mm-hmm. I could get to that. A lot of teachers, a lot of teachers w- w- was getting high. <laughs> you heard me? Niggas was selling crack to the teachers? Nah, I didn't. Nah, I was... <laughs> Uh, that shit different. <laughs> oh, bro, hold on. Niggas said niggas is so Wait, I gotta sit down. <laughs> no. Nah. You see? Nah. You a see? lot of teachers. Wait, no. Let me. I said, I had to sit down for this one. I had a teacher. Everybody know the teacher, Mr. Mr. was a good, cool teacher. I was selling him major cocaine. <laughs> major. Major. You heard last? Yeah. What you mean? He was getting he was hustling on the side or he was getting high? No, 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 no. He was no no no. But I'm no. saying he, I mean he was just sniffing coke or he was smoking. No, no, no. He was he was using and selling it to certain other teachers in Canarsie. He was it, it, shit. He, you know who else? Um, what's the what, what's what's the fucking um Miss? She was a cocaine lesbian. Major cocaine. <laughs> you heard you heard last? Yeah. Mhm. Nah, but Mister School. I went to his house in the Hamptons. He was cool. I, I, I fucked with him. And shout out to Tommy Allen. I, I, I miss DJ Tommy Allen. Tommy, rest in peace to him. That was the high school coach. Very good man. He, you know, he, he had a lot of ties with great people. He introduced me, took me around some great people. Never could forget Tommy Allen. Next question, though, lad. Like I said, I really was bringing a motherfucking Smith & Wesson Glock 40 16 shot to school. 17 with one in the head every single day. Every single day. And I was getting it in. I, like I... Yeah. You know. Yeah, I, I got stories on my channel about I used to be bringing a hammer to, to graphics. I used to go to graphics on 50th Street. I used to bring that oh, shit every day. Oh, yeah, oh. I, yeah, I know where that's at. I know where that's at. Yeah, but people don't know, man. Them guns was in them schools back in them days. Oh, you, be, you better believe it. You better believe it. Especially coming from, like, my neighborhood. being You know, being from, like, Canarsie, Brookline. Fuck, let alone being growing up in my household. You know what I'm saying? I, I ain't new to this shit. Last, I'm true to this shit. But you know, I, you know, 
I retired, got my life together, got my kids. I'm chilling. I turned the leaf. I turned the new leaf, man. I've been I've been out the way for about eight years now. You heard last? Yeah, but certain things, certain things is just you know I'm blessed. You know, still be here. Oh, I gotta tell you about the night of a Canarsie High School party. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. And this is authentic. I ain't gonna say the nigga name because the person, I have a great deal of, you know, respect and love for him. You heard? Yeah. So, listen, he was, um, it was the night of Canarsie High School party. Like, maybe I'll say, fuck. This had to be 2000 and 2099. You heard me? Yeah. After the party, it was a couple of Brownsville niggas, a couple of a couple of Tilden niggas, and this is a true story. Somebody was blowing. You heard? And you know, I didn't know. I knew one person. This was my man from Tilden. I I got love for this nigga up until this day. I know I saved about 10 niggas. Some nigga came blowing. Some nigga was blowing, blowing his gun all the way down motherfucking Rockaway Parkway. This nigga had a fucking, uh, this nigga had a tech. He emptied a whole 32 shots. No lie, no exaggeration. But look, he was chasing niggas down. I don't know what had happened, but I know he was chasing niggas down, blowing. So when he got, when we got like by the, to the train station, the nigga said to me, yo, yo, that's you over there, Brooklyn? I said, yeah. I said, yo, what the fuck y'all niggas doing? It's me, man. He was like, yo, all right, nah, my bad. We ain't, we ain't know that. The nigga put, put his hand my way. And continue, hopped in the car and left. Nigga apologized and everything. What you mean? Yeah. He saw he saw you around the dudes that he was blowing at or something? Yeah. Yep. And, yep. And you said what he asked you? He said, yo, he, you know, because he called me Brookline. He didn't know my name. He said, yo, that's you, Brookline? Oh. I said, yo, what the fuck y'all niggas doing? Here, it's me. He like, oh my bad, we apologize. Yo, alright, nah, we good. Nigga, the nigga put the tech in his waist, jumped in the car and left. Until this day, like I saved a lot of niggas. But the beef, the beef, it was a misunderstanding, you heard? Hmm. Yeah. Like, you said it was a party, I, it was a Canarsie party? Yeah, niggas started fighting, but it was like that shit was a whole misunderstanding. What you mean? Niggas was fighting over what they was fighting over? Nah, a nigga was fighting because I think one of the Brownsville niggas from Tilden had did something, touch somebody girl. Had, had like, was dancing with somebody girl or some shit. Birds got escalated, but it was the wrong niggas. But some just think blowing. First born, that nigga son, I've never seen a nigga, I've never seen the thing that a nigga got out the car. Son, the nigga got out the car <coughs> and just started throwing. He was just, he was sending them shits, you heard? <laughs> nah, he was sending them shits. But look, once he seen me, he, st- he stopped blowing. Yeah, once he seen me, he stopped blowing. You heard me last? Yeah. Nah, but yeah, like they didn't. This and everybody know about that story right there, last. That shit. That's when I knew that I was a somebody that niggas respected my gangster. That right there. That's when I knew I had it. Like, that's what I knew I had this gangster shit on lock. Cause no, nobody never really, 
nobody never really played with me. It was never really nothing. Everybody knew I was quick to, 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 to blow my shit. Everybody knew I was quick. Or if I didn't do it, I would get something done to you immediately. You violate, you was getting, you was getting handled. And that's just how I moved and operated, lads. Next question, though, lads. <laughs> <laughs> he laughing. <laughs> it was a lot of shit, man. At one point, at one point, we 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 was um. I remember we we was beefing with Bayview before. Now, now that story is crazy. You heard? What you mean, like eighties and nineties or what? <laughs> nah, this is the nineties. This is this this is my era. I don't know what had happened, but I know me and a couple of niggas, a couple of my Flatbush niggas run out there. We tore that shit up. We went in front of the building, just blowing. Me and a couple of other niggas. This is a true story. This is a true story. I don't want to say no names, you know. But it was a, it was one flat which nigga. He was, a, he was with us. My man said, "Yo, open up." Soon, my man said, "Yo, open up." All of us just start send, sending shots. There's a couple of niggas in front of the building. I don't think anybody got hit. I don't know. It was definitely this. this yo. You could tell we was wild niggas, man. How you gonna walk? How you gonna go on foot? Four deep, four hammers and go to another P's and blow your hammer. We walked back to Brooklyn from there. Everybody like split up, went, two went down Rockaway Parkway and two went straight up um, 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 East 108th Street towards Flatlands, yeah. Oh, last night, this shit is crazy, man. Might have been like maybe five or six, six of us that came up with the concept and then, you know, it just evolved from that point on. Did the show the A-Team have that influence on y'all wanting that name though? Yeah. Kind of. Of course, it, it had a lot to do with it from, you know, how they just was moving, you know, the van. And, I was know. about to ask you that. Is it true <laughs> that the A-Team had a crazy van? To the top, we products of hip hop. From flipping cane in the spot to letting off gunshots. You need to stop with that watered down hip hop. Ayo hey, LAZ, make sure you check that single and video from Chief Cherokee and Royal Flush. It's called Video Music Box. Check the description and the comment section for the Spotify link to the song. Ayo hey, LAZ, if you pushing a good vehicle, make sure you pull up on my bros in Brooklyn in East New York, 225 Montauk, you heard? Brooklyn Splash. This is a father and son black owned business car wash that's popping in BK. Make sure you pull up. Tell them LAZ Z Man Suicide Polo with the Ski Man sent you. You heard?